Good evening everyone from the Speed Learner of YouTube. It is December 31st, 2011 and I thought I'd just post up one more video before the year ran out. Wow! To think that in December of 2010 I was roughly at 50,000 views. Now I'm at 112,000 views. I've more than doubled the amount of views that I had on my channel in just one year. But it's the stories that go behind this that are phenomenal. I've met a lot of interesting people. Booball1067, Dash TC, Boink the Clown. You know, it was in December of 2010 that I was still struggling to get anybody to participate in my video response wars. But now, I have very little trouble getting contestants. Dash TC, I wanted to say hello to you. Emmy Blogs, I wanted to thank you so much. I know my back's itching here. But I want to thank you so much, Emmy Blogs, for getting me in your holiday collab video. David Matthews, I certainly have not forgotten about you. And there are so many others. And if I've forgotten about you, let me know. Put a comment down below. And uh, I'm glad you're around. I'm glad all of you are around. Anyway, whew, how do you end a year? A year that has really changed my life. Shoot, I had less than 200 viewers back in t 2010. Here I'm sitting at 446 and still climbing. That's a lot. A lot has changed. A lot has changed in my life. Shoot. Here I was video taping a few signs here in Decatur. Now I found nearly 150 looking for Lincoln signs. I've taught you guys advanced calculus. I've taught you guys Euclidean geometry. Shoot, I, who would have thought I'd make it to Euclid Book 6 by the end of 2011? Nobody would have thought that. I've taught you people how to read, write, and speak Italian. <whistles> That's a lot. So much has changed in one solid year, and I'm glad about it. So, what's the best way to end a year like this? Well, it's a double book report. I'm going to talk to you guys about H.G. Wells. He wrote two stories that I've, I've now read. <laughs> in high school, I tried to con my way out of a book report. In high school, I... I, I had promised my English teacher I was going to read the War of the Worlds, and I didn't. I'm surprised he even gave me a passing grade. I wouldn't have. I deserved the F. But anyway, point is, I did actually read it better late than never. Uh, I have also read The Time Machine, and I can tell you that if you ever read the book on The Time Machine, it is nothing like those movies. Actually, The War of the Worlds and The Time Machine are shorter stories. The, 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 the details that you see in the movies are, they, they were not in the book. Literally, they were not in the book. So, when it comes to the time machine, I will tell you that our society is becoming more and more like the Eloy. And if you want to know what I'm talking about, read the book. We are far too dependent on our machinery. And if you let your brains float into the cloud, they'll float all right. And you will never have them again. Let me tell you something. Just check out our sun. That's right. The sun that warms our earth produces solar flares. And if those solar flares get big enough, they can shut down all the electricity all over the world. And if your brains are on the internet, say goodbye to your brains. This should be your primary computer. Not some piece of tin that you have in your house. No electricity, no computer. Trust me. As for War of the Worlds, it was interesting and unique to read the story. Um, very different than what you will find in the movies. Uh, not near as much detail. One of the biggest ones is that these aliens didn't just come down all at once. 
they came one at a time and what would happen is the Martian ship in the pit would get up and protect the next one that had just arrived. They didn't move out right off the bat like they show in the movies. That just didn't happen. So anyway, you need to read both stories. They don't take near as long to read as you would think. Okay? And like I said, they're certainly not like what you'll see in the movies. They just really aren't. So, I hope that's the best way to end 2011. I thank everyone for watching. It's been a wonderful experience. The letters I get, it's just wonderful. Not every letter's wonderful, but a lot of the letters I've been getting have been really wonderful, and I'm glad I was able to help you out. I am here to help you get intellectually stronger so that you can get better jobs. And I'm also here to help you with your homework. That's why I designed this channel, and that's why I'm here. But I'm also glad that so many people have participated in my video response wars. And yes, tomorrow night I will declare the winner. We have over five contestants. It's really nice to see that in 2010 I was struggling to get a contestant. Now, here in 2011, at the end of 2011, I got more than five contestants. That's really nice. So, I guess that's really all I've got to say. Thank, thank you everybody for watching and subscribing to me. I guarantee you, next year you won't be disappointed. And I also thank you guys for your patience over Christmas Day. I know a lot of you people were thinking, well, I was going to upload a lot of videos, and I did not. I just don't believe in lo uploading videos on Christmas Day. So... Uh, thank you for your patience on that. And I look forward to serving your needs in 2012. So just sit back and stay tuned.